tax rates, put down inflation, look at income levels, and then we've looked at some indicators of institutional problems. Look at the rule of law, corruption, and we've taken an overall governance indicator based on six variables. We've tried to update studies that have been done. We've looked at the size of the informal economy, looking at work done two years ago by other authors and updating it, uh, trying to blend in three indicators on currency, labor force participation, and so on. And the evidence was surprisingly clear that if you control for this in the right way, it's not the tax rate that matters, it's not inflation that matters, it's not the per capita income of the economy, right? it's really the root of law and corruption and an overall indicator governance. And this comes out quite clearly. And so what's important to recognize is that if you're going to look at specific policies that affect tax rates and inflation. It's all very important for other reasons. But our study tries to point out that it's not going to fundamentally reduce the growth of informal sectors. So if you do want to control the size of informal sectors, you've got to work on the institutional side, domestic institutional side, the rule of law, corruption, and so on. And we found the evidence here to be very clear. And so the issue is what can we do to help uh, the building of institutions? It covers a broad spectrum. And so I've tried to look also at what institutional institutions can do, especially the IMF. And I've tried to say what the IMF is doing and what more can be done. But I think what's the most important point, as you as recognize, is that it is the institutional quality of the country, and not simply its tax rate, inflation, or other economic indicators, that is the driver of the persistence of informed sectors. And if you can't control that, you're not going to get the inclusive growth that all of us want. <coughs>